This is a recipe for strawberry ricotta scones. I'm going to start off with the liquid part of it, which is one egg. And to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I make my own. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of pure, freshly squeezed lemon juice. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar and one third, you know, one half cup of buttermilk. And I'm going to start that off before I go any further and just blend that up. Okay. And now I have a half a cup of ricotta cheese. And what I did was, is I took the ricotta cheese and I put it into a strainer over a bowl and I let it sit in my refrigerator for a couple of hours just to get out some of the excess liquid because I don't want it too liquidy. I've already got my liquids in there. So that'll go in there. Oh, forgot some lemon zest and about a teaspoon. Even though I have the juice in there, the zest just adds that little extra something. Okay. And just mix this up. Oh boy, is that lemon strong? It's beautiful. And I'm going to put that aside for a minute and I work on the dry ingredients. So in my bowl, I have two cups of all purpose flour. I'm going to add two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to give that a little mix up with my pastry blender. And then I have one stick, one half cup, a very cold butter cut into cubes, which I'm not going to add in there. And this is really the hardest part of the recipe, only because it takes a little while. I like to use a pastry blender. Some people use two forks, two knives. Uh, some people do it with their hands. But I tend to like to do it with my pastry blender. And now I'm just going to do this for about three or four minutes until I get small, tiny little pieces. Occasionally I will do this just to get the butter off of my pastry blender and a couple of minutes. All right, that's about it. Now what I'm going to do is bring back my liquid measure, the ricotta cheese mixture. And we're going to put this, there's my oven. My oven's on at 400, getting ready for me. These bowls are so heavy. Now just mix it up. I'm going to add in one cup of chopped strawberries. You can get strawberries all year round. They're not always as wonderful as you get them during the summer, but great when you can get them locally in the summer. That's like the best. Now I'm just mixing these enough that I'm getting, I want to get that dry stuff at the bottom. You don't want to over mix them because that will make them slightly tough. And because we have ricotta cheese in these, these are a lot moister than most um, scones that you might make. So your hands are gonna get a little bit sticky. So you might wanna get a little bit more generous with the flour. And I'm gonna get my flour out here. I have a big bucket of flour. I buy those big 50 pound bags of flour. Okay, I'm gonna empty this out. see how sticky it is. That's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. Again, it's because of all that ricotta cheese in there. Oh my, that's sticky. Now I'm just going to pat it into a nice big circle. 
these grow a lot, so. Even though you think you can fit these on one cookie sheet, I would put it on two. Okay, let me just get my sheet pans and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my sheet pans and a knife and I'm going to cut these very sticky as it is. I'm going to flour my knife too. I'm going to cut them into eighths. Again, it looks like they'll all fit in one sheet, but trust me, don't do it. Because they will expand. And it's just so much easier just to give them a lot of room. Now, you have a choice here as to how you want to finish them. You can, at this point, uh, brush them with heavy cream, just a little, and you can either put on some coarse white sugar or some turbinado sugar, and then you can bake them. Or you can do what I'm going to do, and that is I'm not going to put anything on them. I'm going to let these guys go in the oven as they are, and then when they come out, I'm going to make a lemon glaze that's going to go on these. So now, these need to go into that 400, and 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And then when they come out, I'll show you how pretty they look, and I'll show you how to make the glaze. Here's the strawberry ricotta scones out of the oven. I've cooled them a bit. Now I'm going to make that glaze. I've got one and a half cups of confectioner sugar here, and I'm going to put in one and a half tablespoons to start. And we'll just see what kind of consistency we get it to. I would think it's going to take close to three, but well, I already know we need at least one more. But you know, when you're dealing with confectioner sugar, a little liquid goes a long way. Just a small amount. Confectioner sugar is really sticking to the side of the bowl. I want it just a little bit looser than that. good, but a little bit, just a touch more. I don't want it to be a frosting. I want it to be a glaze. I want it to run off. That's good. Now, I have a water glass here and I've just put in a Ziploc bag so that the corner, one of the bottom corners is down at the bottom here. I'm going to use it as my piping bag. Again, you don't need to do this. You can just take a knife and put it on or drizzle it on any way you want to, but I like to do it this way. Out of the way. Let's bring these over just a little bit. Take my bag, twist it up, and then I'm going to cut a little tip off the end. And then I can just glaze my scones. Probably should have had it a little bit thinner, but I think they're slightly warm right now, so I think what'll happen is it's gonna melt a little bit. Yes, I can see it already is, which is good. I really love scones. I, I don't think they were very popular in the United States probably until maybe the 60s or the 70s, and they've really become very popular now because there's so many flavors you can do. You can make them savory, you can make them sweet. Okay, And now just to finish them a little bit, 
I'm going to put some lemon zest on top. Because I like lemon zest. I love candied lemon zest. I love candied lemon peel, um, orange peel, lime. I love all the citrus zests. That's where all the flavor is. And there you go. Those are our strawberry ricotta scones, and they make a great tea side dish or, or breakfast or whatever, or just anytime. I love them.